Okay, guys, we've got some good UFO news today, so let's talk about it. Get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Yeah, okay, so this is a tweet from Lou Elizondo. Folks, it's critical that we make our voices heard. Please review and sign uh, if you feel strongly like we do about UAP transparency. The petition at UAPdisclosurefund.org. Let your voice be heard in support of UAP legislation now. Uh, yeah, and I've talked about this before, the, the petition that U, uh, UAP Disclosure Fund uh, was getting up. Well, good news, guys. Uh, per the Disclosure Fund's uh, Twitter page, or X page, uh, we have reached our goal of 10,000 signatures on our petition to support UAP legislation being added to the 2025 NDAA. Uh, we have also received word from Senator Schumer's office that the senator has seen the petition, appreciates the support, and is committed to UAP transparency. So let's well, hope so, right? Uh, uh, we will now deliver the, peti the petition to Senator Rounds, Rubio, uh, Gillibrand, uh, uh, Todd Young, and Senator Heinrich. Uh, thanks, everyone who signed. Uh, we hope that new UAP legislation will be added to the Senate version of the NDAA in the coming weeks. Now, this is really exciting, guys. If, if this actually is able to move the needle, uh, if we have a new UFO organization, the UAP Disclosure Fund, uh, that is actually able to make a measurable difference in UFO disclosure. That's huge, guys. That's huge. Of course, it's not done yet. We don't know if they are going to add any, any new uh, language, UFO or UAP language, to the uh, NDAA based on this. Uh, but at least the Senator Schumer has seen it, seems to take it somewhat seriously. So we will we'll, we will see in the days ahead uh, if anything new is added to the NDAA because of this. But if it is, that is enormously exciting that we have a new UFO organization that is actually moving the needle on this. Uh, we have other organizations like the Soul Foundation uh, that's you know doing a good job making recommendations. Uh, hopefully, they will you know be taken up on some of those recommendations uh, for UFO disclosure. And, you know, we have, uh, you know, Steve uh, Bassett's group and we have uh, Danny Sheehan's group, uh, you know, the new uh, Paradigm Institute. And, you know, all of those seem to be doing something. Uh, you know, the new Paradigm Institute, I think, is definitely moving the needle. Uh, I mean, they were actually going to be involved in the uh, formation of the review board. If the Schumer Rounds Amendment hadn't been totally neutered, we would have gotten a review board, a gatekeeping committee, uh, to decide what the public is allowed to, to see and what it's not allowed to see. Now, I'm very skeptical about that whole thing, but we do need a dedicated body in Congress uh, devoted to this issue and uh, devoted to sharing uh, the truth with the world. Reality should not be classified. So I'm a little skeptical about, you know, the review board, um, especially, you know, th there were some names floated out there about who would be on the review board, including a former CIA director. And I'm, I'm skeptical about that. I mean, the CIA has been part of uh, the UFO cover up from day one, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, the, the, this stuff is coming from the top. I mean, they're shooting down UFOs. I mean, that's that's not at a low level. You don't send fighters out to shoot down UFOs um, at a low level. That, that's coming from the top. So, you know, that's a military example. But I have a hard time believing the director of the CAA uh, doesn't know some of what is going on. And he has not said anything about you know, UFO disclosure or transparency. So anyway, I'm a little skeptical about that guy, but hey, you know what? Uh, review board is probably necessary. Uh, we need something. You know, I, I have a little bit more hope in a select committee or a subcommittee in the House staffed by people like uh, Muskowitz and Tim Burchett. Uh, Burchett and uh, Anna Polina Luna, people like that that are uh, publicly uh, outspoken about UFO transparency and really do want to push the needle. I mean, they're the ones that got us the David Grush testimony. So I'm, I'm more excited about that. Anyway, I feel like I'm going on a tangent here. Uh, but the point is, uh, they've got their 10,000 signatures. 
And we will see in the days ahead if indeed this moves the needle, if this gets us any new language in the NDAA. Uh, I've talked before about how the NDAA right now is pretty light on UAP language. So we really need something. Uh, you know, maybe Congress needs to feel a little heat or at least uh, be aware of the public's interest in all of this. And maybe this petition will get us there and they'll say, hey guys, we need to do something about this. Uh, let's, let's, let's beef this up a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Again, we'll see. Uh, let me know if you think this is going to move the needle at all. And if you are as excited as I am about the prospect of having another UFO organization uh, that is actually you know, rolling up its sleeves uh, and getting involved in getting stuff done. I love it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Smash the like button and the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media, Facebook and Twitter links below. Love to see you guys there. Uh, if you want to support Cosmic Road in a bigger way, consider grabbing a coffee mug or a t-shirt in the merch store below or by becoming a channel member. Channel members are rock stars and I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much. Uh, channel members also frequently get to see videos hours ahead of everybody else. Meanwhile, there are plenty of other videos on the channel and I'll see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road signing out.